Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively as we watch this video, my people. Very powerful enemies. That is why you must be well disciplined. If you want Biafra, which I know we all want, believe you me, we have to be disciplined. From the man in the bush to the average child on the road, there must be discipline. Without discipline, our enemies will keep undermining us. Do you know when Katrina Lang said she was going on holidays, I knew something was wrong. So it didn't shock me when I heard yesterday that, uh, was it two days ago, that Gulag was shot in nowhere. Ask yourself this question, why would IPOB want to kill Gulag? Who is he? Do you know what the papers in Nigeria have been writing, even including Sahara reporters, of all people? Premium Times, Daily Trust. They said the name, they can't know, issue the sit at home order, starting from Friday, the 28th. Do you see how they lie? Do you see how journalists, how oh, black people, you people are evil. Do you see do you see how black people like that I said that they sit at home will start on Friday the 28th go to premium times for an newspaper you will see it there go to Sahara reporters you will see it there that it is because of the sit at home order do you see how they planned it God exposed them they wanted to kill this man on a Sunday so to speak, I think was, he was killed yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know that they wanted to kill this man on the day of the sit at home? Not knowing that Chuko Kikadiyama is merciful, I shifted it to today being Monday. Do you see how it works? They want, can you imagine if they had any sense? Do you see how God works? If they had any sense at all in their brain, they would have waited to kill him today. He was assassinated by Monguno El Rufai, Garo Bashevu. The person that planned this assassination and cemented it is the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Lang. They planned to kill him in a way of all places they plan to kill him during our celebration or remembrance of our heroes so they will blame it on ipob and then start killing evil people in the north it's a very simple game plan very very neat and clean but you know as they say where we come from please i don't know who's going to interpret it's not right because our hands are clean this man told us about his killer before they killed him. And I'm going to play his voice for you. After playing his voice, I want the wife of Gulak, Ahmed Gulak, to demand the telephone records of the husband. After all the record conversations in the zoo, Madam, go and look. Ask MTN, your husband has about three phones. He has about three phones, yes? About three phones. Ask all the networks he's using to give you his phone records and his text messages. There you will see the killers of your husband. That it is not IPOB. Let me tell you what the man said before they killed him. The reason why they killed him. To tell you how evil they are. The reason why I know 
that Britain is behind this is the way they play. I know they must demonize you to kill you. They first demonize you. That's how they do. It was this same woman, Katina Lang, that demonized Robert Mugabe, demonized him, demonized him before the world. The same woman. They sent him to come and do this. That was why they formed BBC. Once they get BBC, the Katina Lang came to, to walk hand in hand. But they refused, or I wouldn't say refused, they failed to understand that our people are naturally intelligent. Biafran people are by nature very intelligent. How many out of how they can tell when they're trying to deceive them? Let me play you the voice of the man, Ahmed Gulak, that they killed. And in this very clip of his, you will hear the name of his killer that they want to pin on Anam the Kano. But uh, uh, I pray seven times every day, this God I worship, if he cannot protect me, then what am I doing? What, what is he doing as God? They got the dates wrong. If they had killed him today, they would have blamed it on me. But they got the dates wrong. And they never knew that this video would come out. This is the reason why you must work very hard to ensure the disintegration of Nigeria. Nigeria is an evil enclave. Listen, let's listen to the man that they killed. I wanted to blame it on Nam the Kana and IPOB. Let's listen to him. I want to say what I have been saying over time. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, mm -hmm. remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno, your national security advisor. Arrest and, so this is the this is Ahmed Gulak asking the so-called president to do something. To do what? What are you asking the president to do, please? The man they killed in a world, blaming a number kind of IPOP, ESN. The man that they themselves killed. That is the name of the man that killed him. He's about to mention. Listen. Mr. President, mm -hmm. remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno, eh? National Security Advisor. Munguno. He is corrupt. Uh -huh. He is clueless. Uh -huh. He don't have the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians at heart. Mm -hmm. And that Munguno is a hypocrite. Yes. If he is the NSC, Yes. And he think he have available power within him. Let him arrest me. He is corrupt. Uh -huh. He is a thief. Uh -huh. He is a problem to yes. the security of this country. Thank you. The people are afraid. I'm I, not afraid. I'm, I'm not afraid. Go lag. He said he's not afraid. Munguno is only busy stealing the monies. They killed him because he accused Munguno, the national security advisor of Nigeria, of corruption. He said, I am not afraid of you. I don't care what you're going to do. This man called Gulak did not even trust Hope or the man, the man he put in power in Imo State. He did not trust him. That was why he left his hotel without telling any security operative because he felt that Munguno was on his trail. That was why there was no siren. He took a simple taxi because he feared for his life. Is it that simple? Is that common sense? If a high-ranking APC official can visit a place and refuse every security protocol, it's because he is afraid or in fear of his own life. Have we ever had any encounter with um, Gulag to make him be fearful of his life? No, is the answer. The person that killed him is here. The person that killed him has mentioned his name. But the premium times, Sahara reporters, uh, punch newspaper, daily post, these are evil black people writing rubbish, evil men and women claiming they are journalists, evil people whom we open soon. The man mentioned his killer, told you who killed him. But you are so determined because of you want to serve your British masters, you are so determined to appeal it on IPOB. You people are evil. 
Oh my God. I want our Hausa service to translate this very broadcast into Hausa language and play it for Hausa people. We don't know who this man is. He's inconsequential. He's a nobody to us. Intellectually, he's not a force to be reckoned with. I never mentioned his name before because I don't know, I don't know who he is. But you see, do you see how God will always save us if, we, if, we, if our hands are clean? He will always come. To, do you see how God, in his infinite mercy, told these murderers to kill Ahmed Gulag on a Sunday? Do you see how it works? Our seat at home lockdown is today. That's the only thing that saved us. And the existence of this video, where he told them who killed him, that every newspaper editor in Nigeria, including Vanguard, they have collected money. Do you see why God hates black people? God hates because black people are wicked and evil. Look at your journalists writing, look at your journalists aiding and abating lies and evil. This man made a video and told you that he's there and who is going to kill him. But you to be IPOB. Let us listen once again to what he has to say. For the last time. So that when you're reading all those junk, you know what to tell them. Do you see how they want to incriminate us and tag us bad people? If you go to to Google now, type in Namde, can you will see it there that I killed Ahmed Gulag? They are all in it together. They are all co conspirators, all of them. All of them. Listen. He prayed. Have been saying over time, Mr. President, mm -hmm. remove, arrest, prosecute Major General Ali Munguno. That's the man that killed him. Ali Munguno is the man that killed Ahmed Gulak. Simple and short. Why? Why is it that Nigerian journalists are trying to pin it on IPOB? Why? I'm asking them. Yoruba journalists, why are you people this evil? What type of demon created you people? You have no soul and you have no conscience. Oh God, let's continue listening. Your national security advisor, mm -hmm. he is corrupt, he is clueless, he don't have the interests of Nigeria and Nigerians at heart. And that Munguno is a hypocrite. If he is the NSC, and he thinks he have available power within him, let him arrest me. He is corrupt. He's a thief. He's a problem to the security of this country. If people are afraid, I'm not afraid. I'm you only afraid of God. He is saying because he knows nobody can say that I am not afraid if his life is not in danger. Nobody can say that. But that's what he said. Let's continue listening. Because Munguno is only busy stealing the monies meant to protect us that is it and the better for you mr president remove major general munguno mm -hmm. is the most useless mm -hmm. nsa ever produced in the history of nigeria thank you very much are you listening now they, they used hope was the matter killing hope was the man was the one that lured him to worry <laughs> hope was the man like one more they used him to lure this man to worry this man was afraid of his life that was why he refused the police escort. He refused the army escort. He used the ordinary taxi. He knew his life was in danger. That is where they want to blame IPUV and ESN. Do you see how evil these people are? How evil they are. But we must continue. We must continue. Because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. This is the same Gulag that Okorocha offered money to put his son-in-law, Uche Mosu, in the council house, the government house, in Oware. The same Gulag. All of a sudden, it's IPOB. They chose to assassinate him. 
in if they wanted to kill two birds with one stone we can kill him and also rope IPOB into because they, they, they could have killed him in the north they could have used ISIS to kill him of which Ali Mongono is a staunch member of the national security advisor of Nigeria these are the people stealing money now these are the people stealing money I was told that some parts of Enugu are not complying. Maybe Enugu doesn't deserve to be the capital of anything in this life. Enugu people. You don't deserve to be... How you became the capital of Biafra, I don't even know. Very disgraceful. Very, very disgraceful. No wonder some of you were going to school in Enugu when we were still fighting a war in 1969 and 1970. You were going to school in Enugu. I want Enugu to be locked down immediately. I want Enugu locked down. It means an order. I want Enugu to be locked down. The city itself to be locked down immediately. And the was to remain and the gender will remain useless people. Lock Enugu down immediately, I said. That is why Fulani can come and kill you at also one, kill you at her at her number. You do nothing. You do nothing. Anyway, we'll visit Enugu very soon, and they will see. They will see. The whole Gulag subterfuge is something we Biafrans are used to. Britain wanted to stop Biafra, wanted to stop Dr. Dr. Michael up, and all they did was to get involved and a few people to do a coup. At the end of the day, at the end of that process, we had lost five million people and counting. That's how they operate. So when they kill Gulag, you know, what well, then Igbos in the north will be massacred. But thankfully, Hausa people have said they are no longer interested in doing the bidding of the Fulani Janjaweed. That's why there has been no killings all this while. Now the Hausa people understand that I and them, the Khan, I'm also fighting for them. They understand it very clearly. For them to be free from the yoke of Fulani Janjawidism. They understand it very clearly. The time where you can come with your lies and get away with it is, is, is long gone not anymore not anymore not anymore thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.